Big Lake. Okay, oh. Patrick, we got a special guest down there? Yeah. Yes! Go, Patrick. All righty, guys. Uh, I ditched Jake, and uh, I got a new partner, Harry Smith from NBC National. What are you doing up in Alaska in our uh, neck of the woods? Well, we're doing a profile on Blair Braverman. Uh, it's a rookie musher this year. The woman is really interesting. She's got an amazing social media following of 6,000 people. They call themselves the ugly dogs, and a lot of them are here. They've traveled all the way from Texas, from Idaho, from Boston, just to cheer her on. And she's kind of part of a new wave of mushers. She's been mushing dogs for 12 years. Mm -hmm. Really interesting character. And I have to say, I've paid attention to this race for a long time. It is so cool to be here in person. Awesome. So is this your uh, your first time here uh, kind of seeing the race or being around it in person? Yeah, absolutely. We've been to Alaska many, many times over the years, done all kinds of stories. We drove the Dalton Highway last year and did, you know, every time we come up, there's something, something really special to do. But this is the first time I've had a chance to, you know, sort of see the ceremonial start of the race and be here in person and kind of feel all the energy of everybody here in Anchorage. What's the, what's the national mystique around this race? Growing up here, you know, it's kind of, you know, it's the Iditarod. You got your Martin Boozers. You got your Didi Johnos. Right. But to those outside of Alaska, what's so appealing about this race? You know, I think it's mysterious more than anything else. Like, what are they doing up there? And a thousand miles? We first started to do a little cover, of the, at least I started some doing some coverage of this when Norman Vaughn was racing here oh, okay. years and years <laughs> ago. We met him at the Explorers Club in New York and we said, we got to follow this guy. So we went up to Denali, went with him where he was training his dogs and paid pretty close attention to it back then. And ever since, we've kind of kept an eye on it. And you, you got a favorite memory from this race? It seems like you got a little history with it. Well, not not enough to really be, you know, I'm not Jake, okay? <laughs> you know, Jake is the real expert Well, you're here. the new Jake. I, I kicked uh, him out. <laughs> I, I, really, just honestly, I think for people on the outside, and especially from, from down below, the, it helps when you come and see it for yourself. You see how just excited these dogs are to get ready, to get going on the trail. As soon as they get in their harness, they're like, are we going? Are we going? Are we going? <laughs> you see that there's a, there's a whole level of, of preparation and a lot of uh, the athleticism. There's, there's so much that goes into really having a successful run at this race that uh, when you get to see it close up, it's a lot easier to appreciate. Awesome, man. And you had mentioned your story. If people are interested, where, when can they see that? Sunday today with Willie Geist tomorrow morning. It'll be uh, in the second half of the show. But we, you know, it's mostly written and mostly done. We've got to go get finished, uh, go f finish editing it so we can get it up on the Latico so you can I, see it in uh, the morning. I, I know how that feels. That's right. But uh, we appreciate the time, Harry, and uh, we are not done here, but uh, appreciate you talking with us. And we'll, we'll go to a quick break. Thanks, Patrick.